Hi, Mark Cameron here. Got a few mosquitoes joining me on my walk. I'm here along the, the North Fork of the Eagle River, about six miles from my house. One of my favorite places to come and kind of clear my head after a morning of riding. It's about 3.30, starting to get uh, dark a little earlier, but we won't notice too much of that until towards the end of the month but we're losing quite a bit of light every day anyway this is one of my favorite places to come and think and kind of get my head screwed on straight you can see what kind of beautiful beautiful fall we're having with the birch trees there on the mountains and all these spruce anyway I used to bring my kids here when they were younger and we'd look for brown bear tracks and what you'd call grizzly bears in the lower 48 and moose tracks and I'm actually a lot more concerned about moose as far as safety goes uh, quite a few tracks along the these uh, natural track traps today um, but they're old um, so and there's there's wolves and nothing nothing to be concerned about but it is kind of neat to hear them howling up in the in the mountains and we should hear more of them as it gets closer to winter and they come down from the high country anyway this is a place where I like to come and kind of get my head screwed on straight after a morning of writing I got I think just shy of 2,000 words written today I uh, I'm working on the next Arliss Cutter the second in that series, a new series, but since I work on three different series, uh, the Jericho Quinn novels, the Tom Clancy, Jack Ryan books, and then this new Arliss Cutter, Deputy U.S. Marshal, who's based in Alaska, I find that I really need to, to step away from the computer periodically and uh, because I have a lot of characters and plots rattling around in my head, as I, as I suspect all writers do. And I'm certainly not whining. It's a it's a great problem to have, but uh, I I did note that the copy editor for Oath of Office um, pointed out that there was uh, two instances where I I wrote uh, Jericho instead of Jack Ryan. So um, the the books the plots themselves are clearly defined, but the work on them sometimes overlaps. For instance, right now I'm answering. Uh, editorial questions on the the next full-length Jericho Quinn while I'm working on the uh, publicity for Tom Clancy Oath of Office that comes out in November and you know getting the plans done for that at the same time that I'm working on the meat of the manuscript for the next uh, Arliss Cutter novel uh, also based in Alaska so I do need to, to step away to make sure I have everything uh, clearly, clearly separated and defined. Um, so I thought that over coming weeks and months I might do periodic videos to to show you this uh, beautiful place where I live and and uh, do my writing and editing and thinking and what inspires me. Um, my wife and I have lived here in Alaska for twenty over twenty years now, and uh, I've written. 17 books now including some some ghost written work and and that sort of thing so i've um, done a lot of writing here and editing and thinking so i thought i might uh, just do some videos and as we move through this beautiful fall into winter and uh, show you where i do my work and then of course midwinter my wife and i usually go to the cook islands the island of rarotonga um, which is also very beautiful and inspiring, and uh, we'll do some videos from there as well. So until then, 